Welcome to the tutorial of MS Teams for Students. My name is Emmanuel Dangilan, a faculty member of the Nueva Vizcaya State University Bayambong Campus, College of Arts and Sciences, CSIT Department. First and foremost, you need to have a browser to access your MS Teams. You can use the CryptoTab browser or Google Chrome. For your CryptoTab browser, you can follow the link below. Another way of accessing your Microsoft Teams is through your mobile phones. Just download Microsoft Teams in your Google Play Store and make sure that it is made by the Microsoft Corporation. To log into your Office 365, just type in in your browser cloud.nvsu.edu.ph or office.com and using your Uconnect account, enter your username and your password. If you don't have your Uconnect account, you can message the MIS team through this Facebook link. Now, let's proceed to our demonstration. So, I have here a CryptoTab browser. To access your Office 365, just type in cloud.nbsu.edu.ph or pwede nyo pong type in ang office.com. Sa part po na ito, dito po natin ilalagay yung ating Uconnect account. So, hindi po pwede dito yung mga gmail.com and other emails. Then click next and then enter your password. After po nating mag-login, ganito po ang magiging console po natin. Ang gagamitin po natin ay yung MS Teams. Kapag hindi nyo po nakikita itong MS Teams, you just click all apps and then makikita nyo na po yung other icons. Okay, so kapag nakapag-login na kayo sa inyong Office 365 or sa inyong Uconnect account, ganito po ang inyong makikita. Okay, so now let's discuss these several icons. Ang Outlook po ay ang inyong email system. So, ang pinaka-username po nyo dyan ay yung user ID nyo po sa Uconnect account. Ang OneDrive, this is your online flash drive. So, this will be your storage online. And then, these three, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, ito na po yung pwede natin gamitin without installing sa inyong mga computers. So, this is already browser-based. And then, this is your Teams. If you cannot see your Teams, you just click All Apps and then you look for Teams. So now let's proceed to Teams. Initially, you will not see any Teams in this part. Unlike po netong account na to, meron na po siyang nasalihang mga Teams. So there are two ways to join a team. First po, pwede po kayong bigyan ng link ng inyong instructor. You just copy-paste the link here and then automatic na po kayo magkakaroon ng request and then i-approve na lang po ng inyong instructor. Or, your instructors can give you a code so, if you have the code for the team, you just click here, join or create team, and then join a team with a code. You just type the code here and press join team. So, this is the environment of your MS Teams. So, pwede po kayo makipag-usap sa inyong mga classmates dito po sa area na to. You will also see here the announcement and assignments coming from your teacher. Sa button po na ito, dito nyo rin po makikita yung mga activities coming from your different teams. And then dito po sa chat box, dito nyo po makikita yung mga chat coming from other teams. And then this button here, dito nyo po makikita yung mga teams or these are the classes na nasalihan nyo na. And then here are the assignments. And then dito po sa inyong calendar, dito nyo po makikita yung mga naiset pong meeting ng inyong mga instructors. Now, let's go back to our team. And then, we will try to answer different assignments coming from our instructor. As you can see, there's an assignment that has been sent from our instructor. To answer this quiz, we click View Assignment and then click the quiz itself. So, after answering, kung meron po kayong makikitang send me an email, you just click this one for us to be able to have a proof na nakapag-quiz na tayo. And then, we now click Submit. We just close this one. Okay. So, to check kung nakapag-submit na kayo or kung bumalik na sa inyo yung isinabit nyo, you just click Assignments. And then, may makikita po kayo dito. So, dito sa part na to, Assign, dito nyo po makikita yung mga sinend po sa inyong mga activities to be accomplished. So, dito po sa completed, kapag na-check na po ni teacher yan, or nai-return po sa atin nung instructor, meron po tayong makikita ng results and the points na nakuha natin doon sa quiz. We can now also see the correct answers. Okay, so close natin yan. So now we have here, Arts and Crafts. Now let's view the assignment. So makikita po natin ang title, 
and then ang due date, and then the instructions of the assignment. So the instruction is make a hat using recycled materials, upload a photo of you wearing the hat. And then dito po sa part na ito, dito po natin pwedeng i-upload yung ating mga requirements. So it can be a file or a photo. So now let's click. And then your files can be uploaded from your OneDrive or from your device. So now let's try uploading a file coming from our device. Assuming that these two photos are the files that are required. So we highlight these two files and then we click open. And when the files are okay, we just click done. And then after uploading, we click turn in. Assuming that the instructor has already checked and returned the assignments, dito po sa completed, makikita po natin yung mga activities na natapos na po natin. And matche-check din po natin if nag na po ng ating mga instructors. So now let's try to click Arts and Crafts. And then dito po natin sa baba, makikita na po natin yung feedback ng ating mga instructors. And then the corresponding points na naibigay sa atin. So that's how we use our MS Teams in answering questions or activities and on using it as a means of communication. So I hope that you have learned something. If you have some questions, you can post it down below in our comment section. Thank you.